Can you successfully trade U.S. bond market futures using signals from the U.S. soybean market? You might be surprised. Strategy of the month, February 2024. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, it's Dave Whitcomb from Peak Trading Research. And if you are new to this channel, we are the only YouTube channel that shares real, fully coded, systematic trading strategies with you month after month. So whether you're a beginner looking to learn more about strategy coding basics, or you're a professional trader interested in adding more strategies to your portfolio of trading systems, you have come to the right place. This is our 28th consistent Executive strategy of the month video. And today we are going to walk through a simple, fully coded bond trading strategy that's a great example of using price signals from a second data set, in this case, US soybeans, to generate profitable trading signals for a different market, in this case, US 30 year bond market futures. And make sure to stick around until the end of the video because I'll talk about the two reasons why I like this trading approach so much. As we always do with the strategy of the month videos, we'll start with the full system code logic. We'll confirm visually how the strategy trades on a price chart. And finally, we'll go through some profit statistics to see how this system has performed historically. So let's start with the fun stuff and jump into the full system code behind this bonds and beans trading system. If we jump into the trade station trading platform. There is the full system code logic for this bonds and beans trading system. And the first thing that I want you to focus on is these two lines of code. This is the code logic that is going to instruct our trading system to either buy or sell short US bond futures based on data two. And in this case, data two is signals from the US soybean futures futures market. So again, we're going to be trading bonds based on this data too, based on soybean futures prices. So how does this system actually trade? If the closing price of soybean futures is greater than the closing price of soybean futures 10 days ago, 10 trading sessions ago, then a sell short order for US 30 year bond futures, that's data one, is triggered for the next day's market open. Now, conversely, if the closing price of soybean futures, again, data two, is less than the closing price of soybean futures 10 sessions ago, then a buy order for US soybean futures is triggered for the next day's market open. This strategy is based on the premise that movements in the soybean futures markets can be predictive or have a correlation to movement in data one, movements in the US 30 year bond market. And for the exits, there is a simple stop loss. There is a bars sense entry reversal. So if bars sense entry is greater than 50 bars, so if 50 bars have passed since we've last bought or sold US bond market futures, then the system will reverse that position. So if you're short, you get long. If you're long, you get short. But overall, this this is a fairly simple trading system that uses signals from the soybean market to profitably trade US bond market futures. And of course, one of the big advantages of this being a systematic trading strategy is that we can add this system code logic to a US bond market chart and a US soybean market chart and really get a sense for how this system System trades. Now, for some of you, this might be the first time that you've seen a chart like this. For data one, we have US 30 year treasuries at US. That's the ticker and trade station. For data two, for the bottom part of our chart here, we have the soybean continuous contract. So the soybean 14, 40 minute, basically daily bar chart. But this is an example of having both a data one, in this case, US bonds, a data two, US 
U.S. soybeans and taking signals from the U.S. soybean market to trade the U.S. bond market. And we can see how this trading system works. When prices in U.S. soybeans start trending higher, the system is looking to sell short bond market futures. And when prices start turning lower, this trading system is going to buy U.S. bond market futures. So it's betting that inversely moves higher in soybeans will translate to moves lower in U.S. bond markets. And if we open up a strategy performance report, we can see a beautiful, consistent upward sloping equity curve. This is a cumulative profit line from trading this trading system on U.S. bond futures. This system has had about 280 trades since 2007, so about 280 trades over the past 17 years. The system has made $205,000 in profits, including the realistic costs of slippage and commissions, a great profit factor of 1.8 and a max drawdown peak to valley of about $23,000, trade close to trade close of about $20,000. So the most that this system has lost based on historical data is about $20,000 along the way to make that $205,000. But again, beautiful upward sloping equity curve. This is a consistently profitable way to trade U.S. bond markets based on signals from the soybean market. Now, there are two reasons that I really like this bonds and beans trading system. The first reason is that this is just something different. You are using a signal from the U.S. soybean market from a commodity market to generate buy or sell short trading signals for the U.S. bond market. There are a lot of traders out there that are using momentum signals or signals from the U.S. Federal Reserve or from U.S. data to deploy risk in U.S. interest rate markets. There are not a lot of traders that are going to be using signals from the U.S. soybean market, meaning this strategy is different. This strategy might offer you a real trading edge versus what other traders are looking at. And the second reason that I really like this trading system is that this original concept of using soybeans to trade bonds, I found in a Kevin Davey strategy from his strategy factory club from August of 2021. Now I will keep some of this code hidden and we'll scroll past all of the walk forward data. But as you can see, some of the core code here the idea of using that data to U.S. soybeans to trade U.S. interest rates is part of a strategy that's been working well since August 2021. That's two and a half years ago. And out of sample performance, meaning how a strategy has been performing in real time, is the gold standard for evaluating a trading system. So whether you're getting your trading system from a book or a YouTube video or a strategy club like this, this one, knowing that the strategy was built a few years ago and is still performing in real time is a big deal. It should give you the confidence that this approach could continue to work going forward. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this trading system? Do you have a better US long bond market trading system? Do you have other trading systems that use a data to, that use a second data set to inform trading? trades on a primary data set, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you are looking for real, fully coded, systematic trading strategies that are working in real time, you can head to peakalgo.com. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below so you don't miss out on more strategy of the month videos going forward. Good luck trading bonds based on the moves in beans, and we'll see you soon. Thank you